Hi, welcome to this video. We have a issue at, whoops, that's my mistake. We are June 26, 2018, and we have a problem with the kernel and with, um, well, well, not we alone, Manjaro and Targos. We all have seem to have a problem and OpenSUSE as well. It's all over the net. That virtual box and the latest kernel for 0.17.2, I guess, has issues. So I'm going to show you how to solve this. This is the latest ISO you can download from SourceForge. So I'm going to follow your way of installation and not taking one of my builds, but the one from SourceForge and run into the same problems you'll run if you install it in VirtualBox. Maybe interesting to see. So we installed VirtualBox 5.12, 2, 12, etc. So it's the latest VirtualBox that we can install on uh, Arco Linux. And we've done our updates, our general updates like PKSYUA. So everything has been updated to the latest version, including VirtualBox. All right, so you see that everything is clean installed. Now let's just wait for everything to install and then reboot later on. All right, almost there. Let's restart now. Done. Control F, full screen. Second line and boot up. Now I already saw that there were lots of updates to be done. And you also see that everything just works now. So something must have happened. So this is just a application. We go to this one, we can grab everything, we can close everything. That's the problem with the when you update our system that we have changed then from 4.16.12 where everything works just fine. But when you update the kernel and it's going to tell here at some point in time going to be all red. Let's not wait for that to pop up. He's uh, probably communicating right now. But there it is. 329 available updates and it's red. So we need to update quite a lot. And we can actually uninstall. Whoops. Let's go back up. You can always uh, a lot, a lot of stuff to do. Just wanted to say you can remove this one, sudo pacman-r. If you don't need it, probably you don't. Um, so that can go. So a lot of updates from the core repos, from the extra repos. What else? Nitrogen is in here. Xorg, always important so that this provides your display from the community, lots of stuff. Here it is, LSB release. The issue we had when we lost our logo. And these guys. So the virtual box guest modules arch will be updated. All good, but the kernel as well. And the mix of the two will not work. So we'll break our system when we update and we'll just show you later on after all these updates. We did not um, went to look for the, did not go and see for the Linux kernel itself. Must be in here as well, somewhere. It's not that alphabetically, I guess. Maybe all the way up. So, Linux. We're going from 4.16.12 to 4.17.2, and that's our problem, that we update the kernel as well. All right, pausing. At this point in time, there is uh, a move from a package. So ZD1211 has been moved to the AOR. Now, most of us don't even need it. So it's gonna go from my machine remove it. So, PKSYUA. Our system is almost up to date. 
speed touch is something else that has moved from the AOR and that's not needed by so many people but it's for compatibility reasons included in the ISO but it's not on the next ISO of June or July uh, 2018 it's not anymore in there speed touch and this is a horrible wallpaper that's much better okay so we need to reboot so everything has been control alt t let's have a look well this is the neofetch uh, issue that we had so neofetch uh, 5 has been um, launched and this is tunar tunar update has been launched so everything updates that's good but sometimes we need to do stuff and in this case you know where to go etc scale put it where you need it to have like here and nothing is in here everything is broken nope Control H the hidden files are visible and then Control C and then we go to our home own home directory Control V replace everything now regards this NeoFetch it's a good thing that it is in this video so we know how it works Control Alt T still broken and the reason is that NeoFetch changed his names but he has provided or we did provide uh, backwards compatibility meaning that we need to delete the old config file and the old config backup file so he renamed it to dot config.conf and this is just a backup this is just the same if you screw things up this is just a double Control alt t and now everything works but this is a new installation from June remember so this is our issue of an update of uh, LSB release who sees uh, you're working on arch rolling and is quite correct it's it's 97% arch rolling but we have some uh, elements that are arco so we need to do a manual intervention here LSB release he says hey I'm on arch he's, he's right he's right we're on arch but it's actually arco Linux. And if we save this and we do it like this, I think that was a correct password. Voila. So then he he is Neofetch. Neofetch sees these words and he says, okay, I have to display another um, well logo. ASCII logo. So that's that. Now I wanted actually to show you which uh, kernel we're on, 4.16.12. We've updated, it will be 4.17.2. So let's uh, reboot and break our system. Okay. This is actually an example of, of uh, being a rolling release. The only thing you need to do is update and then in the etc scale check out what new stuff is there and then well basically i do a, just a copy paste of the contents there oh my mistake sorry let's shut down and let's get rid of this iso in virtual box so this one is out and now we can just boot into grub so we've updated what will it do Control alt t it still reacts and then we are going to move it around it's 4.17.2 and then suddenly we want to click and it's gone right mouse click here clicking there clicking everything is is shut down Control alt t will open something again and we can do something here we can type but if you move away f or you want to type um, click it away here or launch any of the things nothing will work so we freeze everything is frozen as we call it or the input of the mouse is gone there are lots of reports on it on Manjaro on um, on Tergos and OpenSUSE for instance those things uh, articles I've read there so what's the fix the fix is to go to the Linux kernel that's not the latest one 4.17.2 but the LTS or the long-term uh, service or long-term support kernel that's the one we need now yeah obviously it doesn't know that command 
if you're on Arco Linux, there is a nice little script. It seems that we know, we've, we've known that, of we knew that we had to, would need it in the future. So we have a nice script for you to launch. The thing is, it's located in the .config open box scripts. Here we have the install LTS kernel version 2. And if you want to get rid of it, the delete LTS kernel version 2. And also the use all cores. Now we need to install the LTS. So this is exactly what we're going to try to solve our issue. So Ctrl T. And if that doesn't work, sometimes um, if you're really stuck, and it's a great tip to include in the video, we have the possibility in VirtualBox to use, look at your, at your keyboard, we have the right control on your keyboard, and then F2, F3, F4 are all TTYs. So F2 is a TTY2, and if you are having problems to get inside to launch anything, well, you can always get in here. So control, right control, and F6, X7, and we're back. So F7 is our, our X server. That's where we see everything graphically. And all the rest, we can just play around. TTY 4, 5, 6, and then 7. It says to reboot. Um, maybe it's a good thing we include the code in here as well. If you are in on a separate system, I don't know what system you're on, then you actually, well, I can't make it bigger. As you see, we're all having problems with clicking. But it says here Linux LTS, but everybody probably know that sudo pacma minus s, etc. But it's also important to do a grub make config minus o boot grub grub dot config. Then you can reboot. So that last line. 65 is an important one and control T We have an alias for that and it's called update grub you see there The bottom more the bottom update grub pseudo grub make config minus o boot grub etc So it's a long line for us. It's just update grub Okay, pseudo reboot. Let's hope everything works now so this applies only to the virtual box thing, VMware just works. It's a combination between drivers probably in the kernel, that's uh, that we see that there are drivers there for virtual box and, and then the other packages from virtual box that collide or something and we have now a system booted back up. Control T, I can move around with things. It is it says here LTS. If it doesn't say LTS, you've done something wrong. Okay, so check directly if this line is um, here and it says LTS. Can maybe say another number depending uh, if you're in July or August or September or 2020. I don't know, but it needs to say LTS. And as you can see, I can still drag on things. I can right mouse click stuff and I can open menus. And everything seems to work. And I do hope it is now working for you as well. And you can experiment and learn more of Arco Linux on your virtual machine. I can keep clicking, but I guess you'll you see that it works. If at some point you say, oh yeah, well, I've heard that the kernel is fixed, that the latest, uh, the newest kernel is fixed, then it's the other way around, of course. We have still everything in here. I hope so. No, I don't think so. So, cd. We go back to the .config. And to open box. And to the scripts. Voila. And what's in there. Also the delete LTS kernel. So everything is fixed. You've heard there are no pro more problems for your virtual machine. That the latest kernel, the newest kernel, is in fact working again on VirtualBox. Then you say delete me the LTS kernel and then everything is of course in this case frozen again but uh, let's assume then everything works again maybe a quick nano thingy so 
package LTS, it says here, of course, remove minus R. And then later on, it says uh, LTS headers remove as well. And then the grub make config again. So make again this update grub thing. That's it basically. So let's break our system again. So you're really convinced that this is the kernel issue. Enter. Control T. We're back at 4.17.2. Moving it around, it's already dead. Everything is still frozen. I can't click anywhere. So basically, we're back to square one. I hope this uh, solution will help lots of people because there are lots of people having troubles on lots of Linux distributions and uh, I hope to help them out. All right, cheers.